In 2013, Boeing faced one of the most pivotal decisions in its modern history, choosing the engine that would power the 777X the aircraft meant to redefine the future of wide-body aviation. After months of speculation, the company shocked the industry by selecting the GE-9X, the largest commercial jet engine ever built, shutting down Rolls-Royce's hopes for its promising Trent or Ultrafan concept. This was far more than an engine deal. It was a multi-billion dollar gamble that would shape performance timelines and the very fate of the 777X program. But why did Boeing choose the GE-9X over Rolls-Royce engine? What consequences did that choice unleash? Let's uncover the full story. In the aviation world, few battles have ever been as intense or as captivating as the fight to power Boeing's 777X. This was no ordinary commercial contract. It was a life-or-death contest between two global engine titans, GE Aviation and Rolls-Royce. Whoever secured the Trip 7X program, the largest and most ambitious wide-body Boeing had ever attempted, would shape their technological and commercial future for decades to come. From the very beginning, Boeing's requirements were bordering on impossible. They didn't want an upgraded engine. They didn't want something good enough. Boeing demanded a technological leap, an entirely new power plant that was stronger, yet more efficient, quieter, yet more durable and capable of lifting a 777X with its massive redesigned wings. A new standard for the whole industry. Rolls-Royce entered the competition immediately. They brought forward the Trent XWB, the engine that had powered the success of the A350 as proof of their capability, while simultaneously developing bold new concepts under the advanced program aiming for an entirely new generation of engines. Inside Rolls-Royce, many quietly referred to it as the Trent 9000, a last stand effort to preserve their position against their eternal rival. They needed to win, not just for another contract, but to maintain their foothold in an increasingly shrinking wide-body market. On the other side, General Electric stepped into the arena with an enormous advantage, the legacy of the GE90, the sole engine for the original 777, and an icon of brute power and GE had no intention of offering anything merely good enough. They unveiled the GE9X, a completely new machine with a massive composite fan ceramic matrix composite turbine blades capable of withstanding extreme temperatures and one of the highest bypass ratios ever achieved. The GE9X wasn't an upgrade. It was a declaration that GE is still the king of big engines. But here's the twist. Just as both sides were pouring everything into the fight, Boeing dropped a bombshell there would be only one exclusive engine supplier for the entire 777X program. No dual options like the 787 or the Airbus A320 family. This transformed the competition into an all-or-nothing showdown. The winner would walk away with a contract worth tens of billions plus aftermarket revenue stretching across the aircraft's 30- to 40-year lifespan. The loser would suffer a strategic defeat so painful it could reshape their future direction. At the decisive moment, General Electric secured the exclusive contract, paving the way for the GE-9X, the most powerful commercial jet engine ever built. The GE-9X stands as a technical monument of the 21st century, born from the aviation industry's most uncompromising demands. It was engineered to meet Boeing's exacting specifications for the Trip 7X, requiring not only more than 100,000 pounds of operational thrust to guarantee long-range performance and takeoff capability, but also groundbreaking efficiency and ultra-low noise. During testing, it shattered expectations, setting an official Guinness World Record with a maximum thrust of 134 300 pounds, making it the most powerful commercial jet engine in history, surpassing even its legendary predecessor, the GE90. GE's victory was the flawless fusion of GE90 heritage and cutting-edge innovation. One of the engine's defining achievements lies in its sheer scale and efficiency. The GE9X features a colossal 134-inch 3, 4-meter front fan so large that its diameter exceeds the fuselage width of a Boeing 737. This extraordinary size enables an impressive 10-1 bypass ratio, meaning a massive amount of air flows around the engine core rather than through it. A higher bypass ratio translates into significantly better fuel economy, burning 10% less fuel than the GE9115B, while simultaneously reducing cabin noise. The result, the 777X becomes one of the quietest wide-body aircraft ever built. To achieve such performance in a lighter design, this manufacturer turned to revolutionary materials. A key advantage was the integration of ceramic matrix composites materials capable of withstanding extreme temperatures of up to 1,300 degrees Celsius inside the high-pressure turbine without relying on the complex cooling systems required by traditional metal alloys. This allowed the engine to operate at higher temperatures, improving thermal efficiency, 
while simultaneously reducing overall engine weight. From a design optimization standpoint, the GE9X's enormous front fan requires only 16 fourth generation composite blades, significantly fewer than the 22 blades found on the earlier GE90. This reduction was made possible by advances in aerodynamic simulation and materials science minimizing drag and improving airflow. Each carbon fiber composite blade is a feat of engineering offering titanium level strength at a fraction of the weight. Boeing's choice was not based solely on performance numbers, it was a strategic decision grounded in risk management. The GE90 Legacy provided a decisive advantage this maker already possessed deep hard-earned experience powering the earlier 777 family. This long-standing relationship meant GE engineers understood the aircraft's structural requirements intimately, ensuring smoother integration and minimizing technical risk for the new program. Rolls-Royce, by contrast, had never supplied an engine for any Boeing 777 variant, introducing greater certification and engineering uncertainties for the 777X. For a program of such scale and ambition, that was a risk Boeing simply was not willing to take. However, General Electric might have faced a formidable challenger had Rolls-Royce's next-generation engine program arrived at the right moment Ultrafan. Ultrafan was not just a concept, it was an entirely new geared turbofan architecture using a reduction gearbox to optimize the rotational speeds of the front fan and the engine core. This allowed the use of a much larger fan while keeping the core compact, promising fuel efficiency that could surpass even the GE9X in future aircraft generations. According to Rolls-Royce, Ultrafan could deliver up to 25% better fuel efficiency compared to the first-generation Trent engines posing a clear long-term threat to GE's leadership. But an equally critical factor was timing. Despite its groundbreaking potential, Ultrafan was still in the research phase and had not yet been validated on a full-scale demonstrator when Boeing needed to make its decision. While General Electric already had the GE9X technology matured and extensively tested waiting for Ultrafan to reach readiness, would have delayed the entire 777X program, an unacceptable scenario as the American manufacturer was under pressure to bring the aircraft to market quickly and counter the Airbus A350. Do you think that if the Ultrafan had been ready in time, we might have seen the 777X powered by an Ultrafan engine? Ultimately, the exclusive engine decision was also about operational simplicity. A single engine supplier would provide major economic benefits for airlines such as Emirates and Qatar Airways, both heavy customers of the 777X. Operating only one engine type, streamlines maintenance, reduces spare parts inventory costs, and simplifies technician training, an important factor Boeing could not overlook in the broader business case. Beyond the technical triumphs and immediate strategic calculations, Boeing's decision to grant GE exclusive rights to power, the 777X opened an entirely new chapter for General Electric, one defined by massive, stable, and virtually untouchable profits lasting for decades. This wasn't merely an engineering victory, it was a financial masterstroke. The economic value of this exclusive contract is unparalleled. With more than 500 777X aircraft already on order translating to over 1,000 GE9X engines at launch, this manufacturer is effectively guaranteed tens of billions of dollars in revenue across the aircraft's 30 to 40 year lifespan. Yet the true treasure lies not in the initial engine sales, but in the business model behind them. The 777X deal is a perfect embodiment of the industry's legendary razor and blade model. Selling the engine is only the beginning. The real profit comes from decades of aftermarket services, maintenance repair overhaul, MRO exclusive replacement parts, and long-term support packages like Total Care, often stretching 20 to 30 years. This is the high margin core of the engine business, the gold mine that GE now controls entirely. With a single engine strategy in place, every airline operating the 777X becomes locked into GE's service ecosystem. Rolls-Royce and all other competitors are completely shut out from dominating this lucrative aftermarket, a market that in many cases can exceed the total value of the engines themselves. Since 2020, this engine has begun proving itself in the air, powering the test flights of the first 777-9 prototype. The engine continues to accumulate thousands of hours in harsh testing environments as GE pushes toward full certification and absolute reliability before commercial entry into service. Once the 777X begins flying passengers starting with launch customer Lufthansa, its commercial success will further cement GE's dominance in the twin-aisle, twin-engine landscape. And from that point forward, the battle for wide-body supremacy will enter a new era, one for which General Electric has long prepared and one it now stands poised to command for decades to come. However, even after securing a historic engine victory, 
The 777X program quickly found itself wrestling with obstacles far more severe than anyone at Boeing or GE had anticipated. These obstacles have raised unsettling questions about whether Boeing's decision to go with this engine provider was true or false. The first and most visible crisis came in the form of delays, long expensive reputation damaging delays. Boeing's original timeline once optimistic enough to target deliveries in 2020 has been repeatedly dismantled. Certification efforts stretched far beyond projections, pushing the aircraft's commercial debut all the way to 2027, taking the 777X completely off Boeing's post-pandemic recovery roadmap. The underlying cause was unmistakable a far more cautious Federal Aviation Administration. After the 737 MAX disasters, the FAA adopted an unforgiving certification stance, scrutinizing every system, and especially the enormous all-new GE9X engine with unprecedented rigor. Each delay carried a financial cost, and eventually the numbers became staggering. Boeing was forced to recognize a massive $4.9 billion loss, encompassing extended testing storage of completed but undeliverable aircraft and looming compensation for dissatisfied customers like Emirates. The schedule slippages didn't just hurt Boeing's balance sheet, they inflicted deep wounds on the 777X's credibility at a time when the wide-body market was more competitive than ever. Yet timing wasn't the only enemy. The GE9X itself was grappling with the brutal reality of turning breakthrough technology into a certified production-ready engine. For all its promise, the colossal fan lightweight composite materials record-breaking thrust, the GE9X's innovative architecture came with serious engineering challenges. The most troubling issues emerged inside the high-pressure compressor, a region operating under extreme heat and immense forces. Despite the advantages of ceramic matrix composites, engineers discovered durability and longevity concerns in certain rotating and stationary components. The HPC's harsh environment tested the limits of even GE's advanced materials, forcing redesigns that consumed both time and money. Each iteration triggered another round of intensive cyclic testing, tightening the bottleneck constraining certification. Compounding these compressor issues was a critical flaw in the input gearbox responsible for powering essential accessories such as fuel pumps and generators. A failure involving a specific shaft required comprehensive strengthening and redesign work. These problems, though individually fixable, combined to create a cumulative drag force on the maker's development schedule, each fix pushing the engine further from the timeline Boeing desperately needed. Then came the most ominous consequence of all strategic vulnerability. Boeing's bold decision to rely exclusively on GE9X a move, meant to simplify operations and reduce cost for airlines, has now revealed its darker side. By eliminating alternative engine options, Boeing had willingly built the 777X around a single point of failure. If GE stumbled, the entire program stumbled with it. And GE had stumbled. Airbus's A350 could fall back on multiple Trent variants. Boeing's own 787 offered customers a choice between GE and Rolls-Royce. But the 777X, no such safety net. Boeing had forfeited all leverage and pinned the fate of its next-generation widebody squarely on the shoulders of one manufacturer. For the airlines, this exclusivity brought its own concerns, while operational uniformity was appealing being locked into GE's maintenance repair and overhaul ecosystem for 20 to 30 years meant limited flexibility and potentially soaring long-term service costs. The exclusivity deal once hailed as a competitive advantage had transformed into a strategic liability. The success or failure of a multi-billion dollar aircraft program now depended entirely on GE9X clearing its hurdles, stabilizing production, and satisfying an FAA that no longer gave anyone the benefit of the doubt. In a cruel twist, the very decision meant to strengthen Boeing's position in the wide-body market had created one of its greatest vulnerabilities. And, as the 777X inches toward service entry can, Boeing and GE navigate these obstacles in time,